Hello friends, it is Running Kimono and we're going to be talking about Body Care Day uh, 2020 or Body Care Days because <laughs> this sale is supposed to be running over two days um, in store only. So we're going to talk about the details that I have and then we're going to talk about some speculation and rumors too. Um, and it's never uh, set in stone until we get that email from Bath and Body Works or it's on their social media sites. But this is going to be really great, especially if you love their body care products. So they actually designed um, part of their website into the, the what is body care day? Because they're acknowledging that this is actually happening. Think candle day, but body care. It's an event that we sell our body care products. Yes, all at a super low price. Last year was our first and it's back for 2020 as a two day in store sale. So there it is. This will not be online. So they're just teasing us again with this little website sneak peek. And uh, they're saying, hey, there's going to be an email coming sooner than later. And um, what are the products included? Well, it's everything in their body care line. Uh, the perfumes that are like, you know, 40, 50 bucks, they were not included last year. Um, I'm going to show you some photos of what I snapped last year, but it's the usual suspect. So even some products that are like 16 to 18 dollars will be reduced down to the cost and we're going to talk about that rumored price point but last year it was um four dollars and 95 cents per product so even without a coupon that is some significant significant savings and this is last year's little thing that they had like 495 it's supposed to be a dollar more that's the rumored uh, price so i'm suspecting on uh, december the 10th which is thursday they will drop an email or put this on their social media Usually it's in the middle of the day or in the evening, they will say, hey, what are you doing this weekend? Because we're going to have a really great sale. So um, the dates that this is supposed to be taking place is on the 11th and the 12th. So a Friday and Saturday. This is rumored at this point because it's not, it's all speculation. Um, but apparently they want to have this over two days because a lot like Candle Day where the, you know, they have to really limit the people in the store to not have crowds and uh, to keep everybody safe. Those are the rumored dates. Or maybe it might be a Saturday, Sunday. We don't know. But like how awesome is this? And the store will be designed that one side of the store where they have all the body care products. They'll have all these signs saying, you know, the cost and all of that stuff. Just to show you some of the stuff that was um, in fact included last year. These are the photos I snapped last year. I went there First thing in the morning with one eye open and um, usually candle day, there's always like a lineup or a lot of people there. Um, for body care day, not so much. I think people just didn't know what it was because last year it was like the first time ever. But they had this whole series of like bubble baths with the salt. So if you're really into bathing, this is what they had last year. But they still have some, you know, bubble baths and that sort of stuff, lotions, potions, all that great stuff. And uh, yeah, they had a huge amount of stock like right at the front of the store saying, hey, buy it all. This is really cool stuff. So yeah, like whatever your scent of choice is, um, pretty much everything and anything. Um, it's kind of deceptive here that the um, the gingham, the larger perfumes are in this display. I believe they were not included last year. Maybe you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think anyone got them or Again, I might be wrong, but there was a lot of like the sprays and everything. So just a ton of stuff. And it was like Candyland, uh, you know, $4.95 and even a dollar more. It's still not the worst thing. And this was celebrated the week after Candle Day. So if we're on, we're going to place some bets that are probably going to time that out too, because it seems like every weekend leading up to Christmas, they have a giant sale and people go crazy and they're like, ah, I need all my stuff. And at this cost, I mean, this is unheard of. And uh, especially if you like to try some of the holiday scents too, you know, there's just, oh, there's so many and it's so great. So um, one thing I was absolutely um, delighted to find were these bath salts, um, the eucalyptus spearmint one. So relaxing to take that. Um, and it really, I, I find it keeps my water a lot hotter in my bathtub too. So it's just absolutely fantastic. And what a great way to relax. And I didn't go too crazy last year. I mean, I was really after those salts and I was really into that scent Christmas cookie. So I didn't go too crazy. I just got a couple of things. And even at $4.95, I was able to get a heck of a haul. And I think I gifted a bunch of these two for Christmas. So, I mean, it was just a really great sale. A lot of fun to shop to when, when you know, everything in the store for that cost. It's like Candyland. And just to show you some stuff that... um 
with the rumored cost, again, it's not set in stone that it's five ninety five, but a lot of people are saying that will be the price point. Like everything from those nicer um, body lotions, creams, the different fragrance mist. Um, I think even like those pillow sprays were part of it. So um, definitely look at body care and then start making a list of things that you might be interested in if you really love the Bath and Body Works um, body care line. Okay, so can we use coupons with this sale? Well, that's kind of up in the air. We're going to have to see what how this plays out. But if it is allowed, if you might have a 10 off of 40, grabbing seven of those items at $5.95, say that's the rumored price, for $41.65, subtracting that coupon, you're left with paying $31.75 out of pocket. And it shakes each product out to $4.52. And with the 20% off coupon, well, it drops it down to, to $4.76. So there's some tremendous savings there. And just to show you if you might have received these home mailer coupons, I know only certain people get them, but if you got them and you didn't go out to candle day last week, I mean, by all means, try and use these if you can, because how awesome is that to get extra savings on uh, purchasing these body care items? Maybe you can let me know in the comments which one's your favorite. Okay, and... um. On this display at the store, after candle day, lots of customers come through with a lot of mailers and often, you know, they have this big collection or this little cup of extra coupons. If you ask really nice, sometimes behind the counter, they'll have extra coupons or they might put them on the floor for customers. So really keep your eyes peeled. And if they're allowing coupons like fingers and toes crossed, don't be shy to ask. I mean, you have nothing to lose, right? <laughs> and uh, the Bath and Body Works app, I think that um, this app will have more information as the week progresses. And this is only in certain states that you can use this app at stores, even though you can use the zip um, at your location or you can download it with a certain zip and try and use it in your store. Unless you're in that specific zip, it does not work. I've tried it before. Um, a friend of mine in Ohio, um, she lives near one of those tester stores. She's like, hey, try and use my card for fun. And it did not work. So this app might have more information for us as the week progresses. And um, if you live in a bigger city and you can use it, hey, there might even be some coupons for you to use later in the week. So hopefully we can make a deal or two happen with those coupons. Wouldn't that be nice? So this is a couponing channel. So we're all about saving money. And one of the fastest ways to get gift cards towards your Bath and Body Works purchase, well, it's the Fetch Rewards app. I would use the Fetch Rewards app, photograph your receipts to earn points. And when you hit the $25 mark or 27, you can get a Visa gift card and use that towards your Bath and Body Works purchase. It's a really easy process. You just go to the link in the notes, use my referral code, photograph a bunch of receipts, and your receipts will give you points, points towards gift cards. And as you can see, when you get $27 in points or, or 27,000, um, you can get a $25 gift card that you can use for this. So, I mean, sign up today. My code's there, right there on the screen. And when you photograph your first receipt, you're given two bucks. So if you have a bunch of receipts, you might get really close to that gift card. <laughs> And um, if you want to use that uh, Visa gift card and go to bathandbodyworks.com, buy yourself a $25 e-gift card. Very easy to do. You could probably even do it in store. And um, you can just scan that because I know that sometimes uh, to ask a cashier to type in your Visa card uh, to punch it in manually, sometimes they struggle with that or with new hires if they're not sure how the cash register works. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, it might be easier just to go on the Bath and Body Works site and to get a virtual at that virtual gift card, have the screenshot on your phone, the cashier will scan it at checkout. It's very easy to do. Okay, guys, so obviously this is going to be a really big sale. Most stores are allowing only like a dozen people in. So there's huge lineups. So they will probably open up early. So depending what we hear later in the week, it'll probably determine the hours. Um, so you'll have to plan that one accordingly. And like I was saying, um, this is a, a photo that I took at Candle Day a couple years back. Um, this is not going to be happening of stores crowded, full of people. Um, they're usually, you know, letting people wait outside. So dress with a warm coat, comfortable shoes, especially if you're going to be waiting outside for an hour or so, you know, because this will not be online as per their website. And I will leave that website in the notes too, if you want to read up on this. And absolutely, like Thursday night, if we get that definitive email, 
on Friday morning or later on Thursday, just Google the hours um, because I know that here they actually changed it on Google um, when it was open. I think they opened the store at like five in the morning and I went at like six and uh, there wasn't a lot of people there, um, but that was really early and I was pretty surprised even myself that it was open so early. So don't be shy to Google it. Really get organized. Um, if there's uh, body care items that you're a real fan of or scents, you want the entire line of it from mist sprays to the bubble bath to the lotion to the cream and all the potions and everything in between. Um, hey, I'm rhyming a lot. <laughs> Make a list and absolutely scope out your store early um, if you wanted to head over there on Thursday and just see what they might have. And um, just be really organized. The more organized you are, the easier it's going to be to get in and out of the store. I always feel guilty if there's a line of people outside and it's it's cold. Um, I just, I feel bad. So I want to be in and out like really quick. And just be really in the know too. If you buy some stuff and you just do not like the scent, you always have the option to return it. Um, even without a receipt, they just do returns. They want their customers to be happy. And this will really be the biggest savings of the year on body care products. Okay, guys, and I also made this video a couple weeks back on five hacks just to have a lot of success. Some of the stuff we discussed in this video and a couple other tips and tricks. If you want to watch this video, I will link it at the very end. And um, like this is just a really exciting two weeks where we have candle day and then body care day, like boom, boom. I'm assuming it's going to be this Friday and Saturday. I might be wrong. As the week progresses, we will see and I will make another video when we get the hard facts. And uh, it's going to be a really exciting one, especially if you like a certain, you know, like mists or, you know, lotions or whatever. More information to you over on my Instagram. If you want to go give me a follow, it is photo Rachel. Go and follow me over there. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.